I am Rana, and today I just want to tell you guys that I am so blessed because I feel so much better and this is just amazing that I have peace. So before I go on, you guys, don't forget to subscribe and like, hit the notification bell if you want to be notified once I upload a video, and please share, 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 okay? Well guys, in my last video, um, I took the vaccine shot and I went through um, a brutal, brutal, I, I mean really brutal moment. Um, and I say that because like it was really hard i mean i don't know what the virus feels like and i don't want to know um and again guys this is not to force you guys to um take the vaccine or anything like that i did it because you know what happened to my boyfriend and you know it just made me look at things a little different and you know he had covid he died from covid and um I think I was saying on one of the videos that he didn't, but from my understanding, you know, COVID, yeah, he, um, his heart couldn't take it, so he died. Um, well, guys, it is, you know, your choice, and I know somewhat in the conscious community, we're um, debunk debunking the whole claims of, you know, the disease being real. Well again i beg to differ um you guys i was in a healthcare field it's real i mean you know it's always existed so like let's stop saying it doesn't exist i mean that's that's not gonna make it go away or it's not gonna make you guys or anyone not catch it so i just want to be real i want to speak truth and not live in a fantasy world because you know reality is the disease is actually killing people, the virus is killing people, and people are dying every day because of it. So, we can't just ignore that little fact, you know, which some of us would like to and pretend like it's all a hoax. It's not, okay? So, with that being said, you guys, um, I took the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. Um... It does give you a list of side effects and all the things that could go wrong and and it also tells you that you know this is not a guarantee basically you know everybody body reacts differently and I am aware of that so um, just because I had such a hard time with the vaccine doesn't mean the next person will or you will uh, if you choose to do so um, my mom, she did really well. My um, best friend, she did well. Um, my best friend, uh, she had already uh, had COVID, um, the virus. So um, she was um, getting the vaccine because she was like, I never want to have to go through that again. Uh, I wasn't around when she actually uh, caught the vaccine. So... I didn't get to know like what she was going through um, but I was around when my boyfriend um, contracted the virus and I seen personally what he went through and guys it was very ugly it was I didn't record because I didn't want to um, invade his privacy and I don't think you know he needed that for at that time because um, to feel like you're dying in a sense and to know that you are dying I don't think it's something you just want to uh, record so I didn't I respected my boundaries with him and you know gave him that peace okay um, it seems like I'm wearing these well and I'm not crying, you know, when you guys see me. I mean, I have my moments, and, um, I mean, it's hard. It, it's, uh, it's a struggle every day. So, with that being said, you guys, just, if you don't care about yourself, just respect the people you're around, the people you love, your co-workers, your friends, your 
your neighbors or whatever just do what you have to do to protect yourself and to be mindful of others okay so that's all i'm gonna talk about on that level um i just want you guys to know that um let your choice be your choice don't be influenced by what other people think uh, if you receive the virus i mean i've heard so many things like um it's 5g they injected into you da, da, da. you know i mean anything is possible <laughs> um but i'ma just say this i rather be protected from something that i know will kill me than to take my chances of getting the virus for me that's because I know my situation. So everybody's situation is different. Um, I went through a lot, guys, um, even with the vaccine. Um, it was, it was, it was hard. It was, I don't know. And I still sound <clears throat> funny, which is okay. I mean, every day, you know, you get stronger and feel better and I still have my weak moments where I am you know drained of energy and but it's okay because like every day I'm getting better and better so that's a good thing so guys I just hope you're not out here taking it lightly because you know the governor of you know certain states you know lift the ban okay that's fine or you know lift the mass mandate I'm sorry not Ben <clears throat> the mass mandate um, you have to have sense for yourself and also you know just because you do get the vaccine doesn't mean that you um, shouldn't wear a mask you know still protect yourself and the people you love um, if, if, if not yourself then just respect other people's spaces that's you know the best thing you can do um but if you guys have any questions about um the vaccine and you know anything that i didn't cover for you guys feel free to hit me up and i will let you know um i mean you know like i said this is by no means you know forcing or telling you guys to get something that i don't even really believe in for is um, being vaccinated um it's not um, at the top of my list. Let's just say that. So for me to break that code of what I believe to do something because what I've seen uh, someone go through, is it, it, it took a lot. It, it was hard, trust me. Like the whole time I was videoing, I kind of was like in a daze in a sense because I was like oh my god I'm doing this I can't believe it but look you saw what this man went through and that's like the biggest thing that was in the front of my head and then there was a point after I received the vaccine that I felt so guilty to myself like I felt so guilty and I felt like I was so wrong for doing it and then I had to turn around and forgive myself because I had, I mean, in, because we all have such strong beliefs about things that we believe. Like, it doesn't mean we're wrong. It doesn't mean we're right. It's just something what we perceive and our perception is right. Our perception is, you know, reality. So just like your perception, mine's is, you know, reality and yours is too. So with that being said, it was, um, it was like a challenge for me. It was, it was really hard. Um, to make that decision to actually um, be vaccinated and um, I get the whole 5g thing you know I do but I mean uh, that doesn't bother me like um, they don't need 5g to control you they do that anyway um, I mean you know you're gonna have rules everywhere you go rules and regulations that's that's a part of life and for is you know, being controlled by the mass is, um, I don't think they need to inject nanobots or anything in us 
if they really want to control us, you know, frequency, they could do that anyway. Sound, frequency. You know, if you know anything about sound and frequency, you know, they don't have to inject something in us to do that. Uh, if that was their goal. I'm, I mean, that's just my opinion. Um, I mean, but of course, everyone's going to believe what they want to. And that's fine. It's just, you know, not at the top of my list. Because I feel like um, saving lives compared to all the lives we've lost is the most important thing. And, you know, praying that there's nothing in the vaccine that can harm you down the line, you know. Hey, it's a toss-up. It's a chance. Everything you do in life is a chance. And it's just a chance I took. But um, that's all I have to say about that. And guys, I just wanted you to know that I'm fine, and I do. I feel so much better. I feel I feel wonderful, as well. I might not sound as good, but I do. I I feel amazing. Like I really do. And guys, like the strangest thing is like when we um, receive the shot. Like after we sat for a while or whatever, and I guess you know it went through our body, whatever. Everyone in the car was like starving. Like everyone was hungry. I don't know if that was a side effect, but it's like mad hungry. Like just really, really hungry. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, so that was something that we experienced and laughed about because we were like, okay, everybody's in the car hungry, like starving. And uh, it was kind of funny. Um, but I guess you had to be there to laugh at it. But um. Yeah, I don't regret having the vaccine now that I've taken it. So, um, I'm still, you know, toiling with it in my head. Like, oh, God, you did it. You really did it. Like, wow. So, um, again, you know, I just have to continue to, you know, forgive myself and heal from that. But, you know, it was just, for me, at the moment, my best choice, okay? my For me. So guys, I hope you guys watched the video and like I said, if there's anything you want to know or to ask me, I'm not an expert on getting the vaccine. I'm sure there's a lot of people that has taken the vaccine, um, but if you have any questions or anything that you want to know about what I went through that night that I didn't upload, just, you know, hit me up and I'll let you know. So this is Goddess Iowana, you guys. Um, make all your decisions be yours and please don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button and the notification if you want to be notified once I upload a video and please share 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 thank you guys for watching